Ken Block is known even to those who are not fond of car racing and do not follow the business, due to the popular series of videos Gymkhana, in which the American arranges incredibly spectacular stunts on sports cars. Starting with the Subaru Impreza WRX STI Rally Sedan and Subaru Impreza WRX STI Hatchback, Ken signed a contract with the Ford brand. The Ford Fiesta GYM3, Ford Fiesta ST HFHV and Ford Fiesta ST RX 43 hatchbacks first replaced each other, and then they were replaced by the Ford Mustang Unicorn RTR, Ford Focus RS RX and Ford Fiesta WRC hatchbacks, Ford Mustang Unicorn V2, Ford Escort Kasi and Ford F-150 Hunatruck pickup truck. Then, it seems, Block got bored with the Gymkhana, Ken gave this discipline to another famous American extreme Travis Pastrana with his exclusive Subaru, and the pilot himself began to try himself in new races. This is how the spin-offs Terracana with dirt track races and Climb Hanna with mountain climbs appear, but in 2022 the YouTube star decided to return to the roots and introduced a new Jim Hanna. For the first time with the participation of Audi cars and for the first time in the history of the entire series, with an electric car in the title role. Moreover, an electric car unique in all respects. History is silent about how the paths of the Block and Audi crossed, but in the end the German automaker signed a contract with the 54-year-old racer. As part of the agreement, Ken had the opportunity to test a lot of interesting models from Ingolstadt, including the classic Audi Sport Quattro S1 and Audi V8 Quattro, the futuristic Audi e-tron Vision Gran Turismo and the modern Audi RS Q e-tron. But this was not the end of the matter, and in 2021 the brand announced that a unique electric prototype of the Audi S1 e-tron Quattro Hunatron would be built by the Audi Sport factory division. The source of inspiration for the novelty was the iconic rally prototype Audi Sport Quattro S1 E2, which became a star at Pikes Peak. The model of the 1980s refers to the characteristic appearance of an electric car, in which all fans of the brand will easily guess the historical prototype. At the same time, the machine does not completely copy the design of the classic model, but creatively rethinks it taking into account new technologies. Audi S1 e-tron Quattro Hunatron is built around a carbon fiber monocoque and has a fully carbon body with very aggressive aerodynamics, including a massive splitter in front and a monstrous rear wing. The model is a creation of the Audi Sport Department and Audi Design Specialists in Ingolstadt and personally the chief designer of the German concern Mark Licht worked on the appearance of the electric car. He and his wards managed to combine the features of classic and ultramodern models in the novelty, and the whole process of creating the look took record time. Usually, work on the design of a car takes about a year and a half, and for the block the car was designed in four weeks, that's how long it took from the first sketch to the approval of the final project. The very construction of an electric car for Ken was no less fast, the unique Audi S1 e-tron Quattro Hunatron was built in just six months. And this is an incredible pace, because the same Ford Mustang Hunicorn was created for two years. The first prototype of a unique electric car was shown in the company's black gray silver with orange accents colors, and a new color scheme was developed for the shooting of Electricana for the car. White red gray black with sponsor logos refers to the historical colors of racing Audi, and individual accents made of reflective film were added specifically with an eye to shooting at night. White rotiform discs are also added to the style, the design of which is also made in retro style. The interior turned out to be very aesthetic, because we are talking about a racing car, even if not homologated for official series so the interior is either bare metal or carbon fiber trim. Naturally, the electric car has a safety frame that meets FIA standards, a seat with multi-point belts, a sport steering wheel and a number of other equipment, including a digital instrument panel. Despite the widest possible use of carbon fiber and carbon Kevlar, electric vehicles require the placement of heavy batteries. The novelty received an 800-volt onboard electrical system, for battery packs from Audi Q7 and two electric motors, one on each axle from the Audi e-tron FE05 racing car of the 2019 Formula E season. Up to 3,000 newton meters of torque can be applied to the front and rear axles, which allows not only to accelerate instantly when starting from a place, but also to arrange a drift, spinning in one place. All this electrical equipment required the organization of two cooling systems at once one is responsible for removing excess heat while driving, 
and the second is activated during charging to bring all components to the optimal temperature regime and reduce the time of connection to the power grid. The electric car received a powerful braking system from the renowned Alcon company based on the elements available in the company's assortment, but the suspension of the electric car although made based on WRC2 rally cars, but using unique components created specifically for the Audi S1 Hunitron. Naturally, the suspension geometry of the model has its own and is unlike anything else, Audi Sport engineers embodied all their experience working on rally and rally raid cars in it. According to Ken Block himself, with the transition to an electric car, he had to adapt to an unusual landing, the peculiarities of driving a car without a clutch pedal, as well as the unusual dynamics of acceleration from a standstill and acceleration in motion. In addition, it turned out that the Audi S1 consumes tires with an appetite, an average of 40 tires were required for filming a regular Gymkhana, but more than 100 tires were needed for the Electricana. In addition to the new Audi S1, other legendary racing cars of the German brand, Audi 90 IMSA GTO, Audi 200 Trans AM, Audi Sport Quattro S1 Pikes Peak, Audi Quattro Grupp BA2, as well as Audi R8 LMP and Audi R18 e-tron Quattro from 24 Hours of Le Mans. The most observant will see in one of the episodes, Mr. Le Mans, himself, nine-time marathon winner Tom Christensen, who was noted for his supporting role in the video. And although the creators of Electricana themselves admitted that they really lacked the roar of engines familiar from other commercials, the step into the future turned out to be very spectacular. And not only because the Audi S1 Hunitron is one of the most powerful electric vehicles in the world. It is also the most expensive car in the history of Gymkhana, since the cost of Ken Block's unique prototype is estimated at about $12 million.